birthday at the age of 23. It happened outside the Viper Room, a popular West Hollywood night spot. His friends say Phoenix had been, in the words of one of them, acting strange. When he collapsed, his brother called 911 and mentioned the tranquilizer Valium in his friend. You must get over here, please. You must get over here, please. Okay, take it easy, okay? Okay, now I think he, he had Valium or something. I don't know. Okay, you must get over here, please. Yeah, slow down, okay? okay? Well, where is the guy? Okay, we have help on the way, all I right? Know. Phoenix's co-star in the Mosquito Coast, Harrison Ford, called the young actor a man of talent, integrity, and compassion. Other film credits include Stand By Me, My Own Private Idaho, and Running On Empty. Inside this trendy Hollywood nightclub, he was rushed to Cedar sinai Hospital, where police say he died 50 minutes later. At this point in time, the exact cause of death is still under investigation. Los Angeles homicide detectives say an autopsy will take place in the next few days and should reveal what caused the young actor's death. I've had a, a, a pretty good life, but very kind of uh, random at times and uh, exciting. His career took off after he co-starred in the box office success Stand By Me. It's fascinating what 50 bucks can get you at the county recorder's office. You got? He played a computer whiz kid in the hit Sneakers. But the bulk of his career was spent on more small budget, less mainstream films. I don't feel sorry for myself. I mean... My Own Private Idaho was one such film in which Phoenix played a narcoleptic teenage hustler. For this role, he won the Best Actor Prize at the 1991 Venice Film Festival. The son of missionaries, he spent much of his childhood in Venezuela. Phoenix had said that upbringing influenced his acting career. For me, you know, being true is all I can do, you know, and, and that's all uh, I can do in my craft that, that makes it valid for me. I have no right in telling this to you. It's dangerous. He was rewarded for his work in Running on Empty with an Oscar nomination, and he was generally thought of as a serious actor with a bright future. To Tonight, police say their immediate investigation hasn't given them much information, and they, too, are waiting for the results of the autopsy. Sandra Hughes, CBS News, Hollywood. It was just over a month ago that 23-year-old actor River Phoenix stumbled out of this trendy sunset nightclub known as the Viper Room and died of a massive drug overdose. Paramedics found him on the sidewalk. He didn't have a heartbeat, he didn't have a pulse. Ever since his debut as a child star in the movie Stand By Me, River Phoenix has carved out a place for his talents, playing the young Indiana Jones, a troubled teen in my own private Idaho, and a computer whiz kid in sneakers. Very few in Hollywood had risen this far, this fast. Besides the clean-cut Hollywood image, River Phoenix had a different side, a side that was tormented by inner demons, which eventually drove him to self-destruct. I knew a part of him that no one else really knew, and that was the part of him that, that used drugs. Meet Rick Riojas, a musician and former heroin addict. Riojas claims he met River Phoenix in a studio jam session. Along with being an actor, Phoenix was also a guitarist for a band called Alica's Attic. I think he used heroin when he played. I think he was more relaxed and more calm playing um, when he was when he was... Hi. Although Riojas has no proof or witnesses, he claims River approached him to buy drugs. He would ask you for drugs. Yeah. He would ask me. Heroin? Yeah. I, I couldn't see why um, he didn't go anywhere else, but, but so he said... So basically he would come over with money. Yeah. And he wanted you to supply him with drugs. And that, that was basically it. Riojas then went on to tell us that the first time he did heroin with River, the young actor just didn't seem to know what he was doing. Well, he didn't know how to uh, hit himself, so to speak, you know. What do you mean by hit? Um, you know, inject himself with the, with, the, with the needle and stuff. You showed him how to, to inject the, the heroin into his arms? And, uh, yeah, he wanted to know. So uh, did he? Yeah. In front of you, shot up with uh, heroin? Yeah. Quite a few times, actually. And according to Riojas, over a period of three years, Phoenix would become a steady customer, 
In one night, River traveled over 6,000 miles just to buy drugs. He flew in. When he got to my house, I found out that it was from New York. He got it. It was just high by, boom, boom. He left. Where are you going? Now? I'm going back to New York. And he just took off. He was so unhappy with his life that he continued with the drug abuse until it got so bad that he finally died. We'll call him Tom, not his real name, but Tom claims to be a close friend of River and his family for a number of years. Tom says River had a squeaky clean image as a vegetarian and a shy private person. Well, I suppose you can meet with someone and say, hey, you know, you know, we think the same way, we like each other's work, let's do something, I guess, you know, there's that kind of talk that goes on. But he was a walking contradiction in terms of his own health. How bad was his drug problem? He looked very bad, he looked yellowed, his skin was jaundiced, his hair was hanging in his eyes, he was slurring his speech. Tom says even River's parents could not stop his spiral into the world of drugs. In an open letter to the Los Angeles Times, River's mother, Hart Phoenix, wrote, River was not a regular drug user. He was never part of the club scene in L.A. His parents had absolutely no influence on his life. The only strong influence in River's life came from his former girlfriend, actress Martha Plimpton, claims Tom. The couple starred in Running on Empty, a film that garnered Phoenix an Oscar nomination at the age of 21. They were very happy together. And I think it was the drugs that started to take effect that changed his personality, and that was one of the reasons that Martha pulled away. And the lore of a bigger high seemed to call out to River. When he asked Rick Riojas if he could get a mixture of heroin and cocaine, commonly referred to as a speedball. I don't know. I, I was, I don't, I don't, I was totally against that, that, that I don't know if it sounds weird, like I have standards or something, but, and you know, I do, it, it, it's a, I think it's a really bad high, it's a bad trip, I try to talk to him about it. Riojas claims that was the last time he saw Phoenix alive. He himself checked into a drug rehab program and now claims to be clean. But River died six months later from a drug overdose of a speedball. You were the guy that supplied him. You're partly to blame for what's happened to him. Don't you feel guilty at all? Partly to blame for what happened to him. Um, River ran his own life. He did his own thing. And if it wasn't going to be me, it was going to be someone else.